Alrighty, welcome back to On Shape Orientation. Today we're going to be talking about the offset, the slot, and the mirror tools. So like always, we're going to get started on the top plane. I'm going to shift S to give us a sketch, N to normalize, and P to hide those planes. Um, the offset tool and the slot tool um, kind of do some pretty cool th things in, in terms of making some geometry. Um, typically, if you wanted to make a a slot or an offset you would draw something like here we'll draw a circle uh, we'll make it five and then if I wanted another one I would draw another circle and I'd want that to be an inch bigger than the circle I drew so I'd have to make that six right well with the offset tool I can just keep pressing that and then go out by an inch and then do it again so pick the direction you want to go say okay press one inch enter and go so it's kind of cool if you're doing uh, some standoffs or if you have a lot of measurements that repeat themselves um, that's what you would go ahead and do use the offset tool and pick your side then press go um, but to kind of show this a little bit better, I'm going to draw some geometry and show you guys kind of a little project you might be making. So um, we're going to start with a center point rectangle. We're going to start at the origin, and that rectangle needs to be 12 on the bottom, 12 inches on the bottom by 6 inches on the top. After you draw that rectangle, let's go ahead and draw a line through the center, a construction line that we can use for later in this video. So after we're done with that, we're going to draw another line. Make sure you turn construction off. We want it to be lined up with my center, and I need that to be 3 inches. And I need that to be, using the dimension tool, one and a half or 1.5 inches away from my center line right there. So we have that drawn. Let's move our dimensions out of the way. Last but not least, we're going to use a center point arc. We're going to use the center of that three inch line that we just made. And we are going to draw an arc. Okay. So what we want that to do, we want those to be vertical from one another. So I'm going to have an arc with a radius of 2, and that will help get our spacing. So if you get that like such, remember to make sure that these points are vertical constraint from each other on that line. So this is our geometry we're going to work with today. Um, our first tool, our offset, I kind of showed you already. Uh, we will offset our outside frame so I can click one line, multiple lines, um, and it'll give me an outside frame. Maybe I want that to go on the inside. I can drag that arrow in, flip it the other direction, click it once, it flips it back and forth. Um, but for our argument, we're going to go to the outside and we're going to make that a offset of 1.25 so if we do some some checking in our measurements our original drawing was 6 by 12 our original dimensions this one on the bottom will be 14 and a half because we added 1.25 to the top and 1.25 to the bottom same thing with our six if i check my six inch side it's going to be eight and a half because we added one and a quarter and one and a quarter to the top of those. So it adds a 1.25 offset around everything. So now we have kind of like a picture frame if you kind of can imagine it like that. So that's how the offset tool works. Under that same drop down, you'll have the slot tool. And in the slot tool, you can do a couple of things. So I have these curves drawn because I want or the slot, you can do a straight line slot, you can do a curved slot. So we have this one line, this three inch line, click the slot tool, 
select it and it's going to ask you do you want it as such or double click the measurement and it's going to ask you the diameter of that specific circle that gets made into that slot. Uh, for this instance, I'm going to say I want a one inch slot and say OK. Uh, remember, anytime your mouse turns into this mouse with a green check mark, that's just accepting what is there. So you'll say OK. I'm going to click this top one and I'm going to make this one a 0.75 slot. So you'll see it follows curves as well. Now, one thing you want to be aware of is I kind of I'll show you up here try to do a spline. Sometimes it doesn't always like to follow a slot on a spline. This one works pretty well, but if you start giving yourself some geometry yeah. that kind of pinches back on itself, the, uh, this slot tool doesn't always work. In this instance, it did. So this is really cool. If you have it tracing or following a specific path, you can make it follow the spline like that as well. Get rid of that spline. Now I have this piece. We're going to go ahead and make that 3D. And you'll see I have a plate with some notches cut out in it. Well, I need that same geometry repeated on the other side. Now I could draw it again, but this is where the mirror tool comes in. So the mirror tool, favorite tool by far in any CAD system, uh, two ways to go about it. One, I can click the mirror tool, and then it's going to tell me this blue box up here that says select a mirror line. Well, then do what it says. So I'm going to mirror over this line. Now it changes to select entities to be mirrored. So anything that I click, it will copy over to the other side. Now what's cool about this when you're doing your selections, literally anything you click. So if I click this, it's going to start throwing that slot to the other side. If you're like me, sometimes you don't like the inside line that geometry line that we base the slot off of to get copied over if you don't select it you don't have to copy that over now if i do select it it will also get mirrored over to the other side so if we go ahead and click all our geometry and we say okay now we look in our new feature and that is mirrored over that way as well um showing you a little bit more with that let's say i wanted to mirror over another line. Now I have my construction line and everything I ever learned, you always mirrored over a construction line. It doesn't have to be a construction line though. I can use this top line right here to mirror all of my stuff that I've drawn. And you'll see it'll flip that over the top. So now if I say, okay, we go back to my extrude. I can have a plate with the same thing mirrored over in the opposite direction. Mirroring will save you tons and tons and tons of time. Um, I have had students draw logos, um, some famous ones like the McDonald's golden arches uh, are only, you only have to draw half of it. The Batman symbol, you only have to draw half of it. I'm a big Spider-Man fan, you only have to draw half of the logo. So take apart any kind of logo you can think of and if it can be split or it can be mirrored and sometimes things can be mirrored twice they might be in set up in a, a you know quadrant type system the top left corner might be the same as the might be a mirror image of the top right corner and then the top left and top right together are a mirror image of the bottom half so if you go ahead and, and think about things in that aspect you'll save yourself loads of time so that's going to be it for the offset the slot and the mirror tool. Uh, tune in next week. We will do the linear pattern, circular pattern, and the transform tool. Uh, a lot of what you guys have been drawing is going to take some like editing. And sometimes you draw something, you're like, you know, I really wish I would have drawn this over here, but it's too much to recreate. That's where that transform tool is going to come in and help you. So um, if you have any other questions or feedback or need help on a specific type of drawing or drawing tool, sketch tool, uh, go ahead and reach out, like the video, drop me a comment down below um, with some things you might be struggling with, or honestly, things you might have had some success with. We've been doing this. This is week nine now. So hopefully you guys got some, some good skills under your belt and something to add to your toolkit. So uh, that's going to do it for me today. You guys take care. Bye.